Hey guys, we're going to be working on your spelling words for how night came from the sky. All of these words have the ow sound. And I'm going to show you a quick little card that will describe the ow pattern. Ow can be spelled two different ways, typically. The ow spelled as O-U is going to be seen most of the time at the beginning or the middle of a base word. Okay the beginning or the middle. The spelling of O-W is going to be most of the time in the middle or the end of the base word. So if you see in the middle could be either spelling O-U or O-W. So it's going to be a little hard. You just have to remember or kind of memorize which one is in the middle O-U or O-W. I'm going to organize your words with OW's words first, and then OU word spelling words are going to be after that. All right. If you notice, when we do our OW words, how many are followed by N, L, or ER at the end of a base word? It's a lot of them. I'm not going to point them out all the time. But in the phonics book that I use by Catherine Grace, it mentions to look at how many times OW is followed by N, L, or ER. That's not to say that OU can't be, but many times if you see an N, L, or ER, it's following that OW. So that actually might give you a hint as to which spelling to use for the sound OW. Now, even though our mouth moves between two sounds, ow, to make the sound, it is put in one box because it is a diphthong. Diphthongs are two letters put together that make a sliding vowel sound. Okay, so here we go. Our first word is going to be however. Let's sound it out. <sighs> ow, eh. V-er. The first sound is h. Ow is the O-W. Can you see the word how? Ever. E. V-er. Our controlled vowel goes in one box. However. The next word is towel. Sounded out. Ow, ol. The first sound is t. Ow, o w, a, ol. This says a uh, because this is considered a vowel. Towel. If we clap it out, towel is a two-syllable word. The syllable break is right here. Ol. This is the accented or the stressed syllable. This is the unaccented and unaccented syllable. The vowel, a lot of the time, is going to be the schwa, which is the, the upside down E, which says uh. It's called the schwa. Sh. Wa. Okay. The next word is coward. Coward. Sounded out. Ow, er, d, k, k. It's a C. Ow, it's O, W. Er, is the A, R, our controlled vowel. D, the D. Please remember to put the bubble on the writing line up to the top, down, and bump. Coward. For those of you that are having problems with B and D, Remember the b, b, my lips are closed. The line is first and then the bubble. D, 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 my lips are open. My tongue is tapping behind my teeth like a drum. D, 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 a drum sticks out in the front in a parade. And then up to the top and down and bump. Remember, line comes first, lips are closed. Bubble comes first like a drum. D, 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 coward. The next word is flower pot. Sound it out. F, l, ow, er, p, 
a t is the first sound. U ow er are controlled e r flower pot p p my lips are closed the line is first please make sure you go under the writing line and your bubble sits on the writing line if you've got your p hanging way up here like a capital p there are no capital p's in the middle of words please erase it Put your line going under the writing line and the bubble sitting on the writing line. The next sound is ah and t. Flower pot. The next word is scowl. Scowl. He made a scowl on his face. Scowl. Sound it out. S k ow ul. The first sound is s, k, ow, ul, scowl. The next word is browse. I will browse through the library. That means kind of looking around. Browse. Sound it out. B, r, ow, z. B. Line is first, my lips are closed. B, er, ow, z. About 60% of the time, z is represented with the S. Brows. Now, this looks like, like an eyebrow, more than one eyebrow brows. That's not what this means. Browse means to walk around looking at stuff. Browse. So, we have to protect this from looking like it's plural. So, the silent E goes on this word. So that it protects that S from looking like it's plural. We can circle this if you want to, to remind you that E is working with the S to make it not look plural. The E does not influence the vowel sound in front of it. It's only working with that S to make it not look plural. The last word for this part of the video is going to be drowsy. Drowsy. He is sleepy. He is drowsy. D, er, ow, z, e. D, d. My tongue is tapping behind my teeth. D, d reminds me of the drum. The bubble comes first, up to the top, down and bump. Er, ow, z. Remember the z sound can be represented with the s. E, e at the end of the word can be spelled with a y. Drowsy. Okay. You've got quite a few different phonics rules working on this list, but I don't think it's anything you can't handle. All right, let's stop part one, and then we'll go on to part two. And just